degrees sounds 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's start the timer. Ding. Dude. What? I don't know this guy. He was a rapper that got shot. Do you know about uh, PNB Rock? I do. Dude. That was a crazy story. First off, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles is really good. Never been there. I The one time I went to Los Angeles for work for like a day, mm. I I flew in late and like there was one on my way to my hotel and I stopped. I was like, man, I'm going to take 45 minutes to go in here and have some chicken and waffles. Mm. And uh, it, was, it was pretty good. Something about syrup... And fried chicken is absolutely amazing. I agree. I like, yeah. Well, and like, yeah, I don't want to like douse it in it, but like, it's nice to have there. I don't know. Yeah, like the way that I found out that chicken and waffles was actually like a, a flavor profile that went together well was I would get like the Tyson chicken strips that you'd like put in the oven. And oh, then yeah, one yeah. day I was like. The breaded strips? Yeah. And then okay. one, and one day I was like, hmm. I wonder if I was to make like some Eggo waffles and just put some syrup on them and eat those together. I've heard this is a thing. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. just in the kitchen experimenting. And you're just doing like processed chicken and chicken. Yeah, yeah and like the and girlfriend it. was at work. It was just me home alone. I was like, yeah, yeah screw do it. it. Let's go. And it tasted amazing. But uh, yes, yeah, PMB Rock. Oh yeah. Anyways, but yeah, it was it was good. It was good there. And but yeah, so he's in the restaurant. And yes. Just, and somebody just walks in, tries to rob him for his like ridiculous amount of money of jewelry he was wearing yeah, he was wearing some yeah. sort of like ridiculous amount of money yep and shot him dead in the restaurant yep but they said that they think he pe they knew he was there because he had like checked in on instagram or his girl had checked in on instagram yep. or something yep and somebody was following and that's why they went there and knew he was there and tried to rob him and killed him i yeah. like, that is just See why you don't use social media? You see why you don't use social media? <laughs> there's been there's been so much discourse about this because this has hit like uh the hip hop community pretty hard. He was a very talented young man. He made some good music out there. I'm not 100% familiar with everything that he's made, but the discourse has been a lot around like should he should should people with that amount of money be advertising that they have that much money? Should they be putting that stuff on social media? Oh yeah, well I mean that's yeah, I mean you you mean it's like And then it's like should they not be able to? It's like it's it's to the point of like whether you're smart enough to realize is that if you put information about yourself online then people can find you and if you have something that people want people are going to take it no that's not necessarily fair but it is also well, an inevitability that we've had to deal with since the beginning of time everybody knows that neighborhood that you can't necessarily wear your shoes in back in the day especially if you like from from that type of community that would listen to some pmp rock music or whatever you know what i'm saying yeah so it's just like you know there's certain areas that you shouldn't go in and advertising that you have money. I'm not going to go down to the to the roughest neighborhood and start waving around $100 bills. Yeah. It's good. You're going to get taken. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, it's, and like, yeah. And like, if you lived in a neighborhood, you wouldn't put a sign in the front yard that said, hey, neighbors on vacation for three weeks. And then, and then be like, oh, I got robbed? Yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> like, yeah. That's essentially what it is. That's essentially Hey, everyone, what it I'm is. carrying a million dollars in jewelry on me right now. I'm at Roscoe's. Yeah. Anyone who's like, oh, it's like real life Grand Theft Auto. It, re it really it's is. It's like Target's like, bing, and everyone's yeah. like, oh, if I want to go rob this dude, I can go to here and try yeah. to take his million dollars. And like, and, and dude, yes, okay, yes, he had, he had more than enough money where he probably could have had security come out with him. Right. And I've heard a lot of people say, like, look, if I go on a date with my girlfriend, people who are have who are more affluent than you and me, they're like, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take security with me. You have to take security yeah, with you. You're yeah. insane to not Well, because if you're with a date, you're definitely not paying it watching like you're six. You know what I mean? Like exactly. you're distracted in the front. You're you know what I mean? Exactly. Like Exactly. Yeah, um, for sure. And honestly, Jonas, the, the, it, people are hungry out there, Here, man. Here's my point. Ribs is if touching. You, if you're wearing that much money on you you probably have insurance on it give him the jewelry that, always just give it to him always just give just it give to him, him the jewelry you just have insurance it yeah it yeah. sucks but who's gonna how are you gonna lose any cred to be like someone put it pointed a gun at me and i handed over my necklace and, like no one's yeah. gonna be like oh he's a wuss 
And I feel you. And look, and I feel being that, or I should say, I understand where he was coming from in the situation. Because if somebody points a gun at me, that person is looking for a response. I tend to not be the person to give you the response you want. I give you the response that feels natural to me. My first response would be to be like, what are you going to do with that? <laughs> right? Like, just be like. And it's not even a, like, I want to tempt fate. It's just like, you ain't about to watch. Like, are you going to shoot me over my necklace, dude? That's, like, yeah. Like, and it's going to come out of my mouth like, what are you going to do with that? Like, I'm not going to start begging and pleading because, like, mm, I'm not going to beg and plead, but I'm like, if he's like, give me your necklace, I'd be like, oh, yeah. I'd be like, here you go. I'm like, what are you going to do with that? Like, handing him the necklace. That's the same thing. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> right. Like, fine. Here you go. Like, yeah, I don't know, man. It's probably best to just do what they say. Here, take it, I mean, whatever. that's what they say. I mean, yeah. but at the same time, I mean, they say also say if somebody tries to kidnap you, don't get in the car because that's the worst thing you can do. So do you go along? Or, or if they hold, a, or they hold a gun to you and try to kidnap you. Yeah, Or right. with them or fight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know, man. I find that facing facing that, that type of adversity with, with bravery, it, it just, hmm. I mean, I think those types of situations Never are really like until in you're in situation. them, you can like all day say what you would do. But like the yeah. the, the shock yeah, and the adrenaline and the everything else, man, you ain't yourself yeah. in that moment. Maybe you he tried are to... so hyped up of endorphins. Yeah, he might even try to fight back. I I could see that being something I would do, just out of fear, of just fighting back. You know, just like somebody points a gun at you, you you're like, like, oh shit, <laughs> you try to do some Jackie Chan type ish. <laughs> right, you're you like, know? oh my god, yeah, you have a gun in my face. Yeah. Yeah, like, no, no, no. Not it, yeah, I don't know what I would do if someone pointed a gun at me. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's very true. <clears throat> yeah, I've, I've definitely haven't had that done lately. But that's just, dude, it just sucks that, like, okay, it, it sucks for many reasons. Yeah. Like, it sucks that this dude lost his life because he wasn't doing anything but trying to take his girl out to eat. Mm -hmm. and, <clears throat> and, like, it sucks that, like, like, I don't want to say that we should feel bad for him that someone was tracking him because he was a celebrity and putting all of his stuff on the internet no. so it's like you can't feel bad for someone who did that but like it's like it sucks that you can't do that the, like the general <laughs> meta that you can't do that and not worry that someone's going to try to kill you yeah sucks yeah like and the, it's same for like chicks who want to like put stuff on the internet people stalk them via facebook and like you know they just want to live their life and go on instagram and put where they're going like and but, some dudes and, hunting them down and, and looking at it from another side of the coin it's like it also sucks is that people feel like that's what they need to do it sucks that that the country is at a point now where people are not making any more money and everything is rising in price and it's to the point where people are desperate and they feel they feel it necessary to go and rob people because yeah, the shit is happening all over california right now yeah, they los said angeles portland is, is like crime is in portland is out of control people like i heard i saw a statement that the mayor was like please don't move out of the city blah 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 and i was like what the hell is he talking about and then like a day later i was like crime in portland out of control and i was like oh people it's, are like i'm leaving because the crime rate is so high in some states right now it is absolutely nuts but it's like why is it getting out of control is because inflation people are hungry they, yeah, ribs man. is touching these people got kids and families that they need to take care of so they're like i need to do something and they have a lot of these individuals. desperation causes that desperate. is what it is yeah, desperation, desperate. man. so yeah, yeah dude it's it's, it's it's crazy because it yeah i don't think it's definitely not getting any better anytime soon the yeah. inflation <clears throat> it, it's, there's, i think it's gonna get worse before it gets better for sure and what do you think that means for uh they still are saying we aren't in a recession which we technically are by the like they had a stat that was like this is a recession that happened and they're like no 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 sometimes that's what happens and everyone's like what do you mean and then since it's uh it's not, the economic forecast hey, not look good. hey lock your doors <laughs> right that's all i'm saying uh, lock your doors to, .com to subscribe for jonas be smart uh this is tnt oh yeah